Hi, I'm Jerry Ellsworth, and this is episode four of Short Circuits. Today I'll be sharing piezo transducers with a feedback tap. Many of you have probably seen piezo transducers that have two taps on them, but there's a another type of piezo transducer that I've seen in the past and was always curious about, so I decided to find one and start playing with it. It has a third feedback tap used to make self-oscillation. You can see the top electrode, there's a large electrode, and then there's a small electrode, and then the base, the metal base, is uh, typical of a piezo transducer. The way piezo material works is you have a stack up, there's a metal base, then there's a piezo crystal or piezo material, and then there's a top electrode. When you apply current between the two electrodes, the piezo material will distort, causing the piezo disc to deform and uh, generate audio. This is a simple circuit based off of a Hartley oscillator. You can see the piezo crystal off to the side. You can see the VCC rail at the top, ground, an NPN transistor, a 2.2K pull-up resistor, and some biasing resistors. The way this circuit works is when power is applied through the pull-up resistor, the piezo transducer will deflect. As it deflects, the other property of piezo materials is when they flex, they generate a small current. The isolated secondary tap feeds back, which biases the transistor's base, which turns it on, which makes a, a feedback loop, which in turn shorts out the pull-up resistor, returning this node closer to ground. When this returns to ground, the uh, current will eventually settle off of the feedback, and then the current will start to flow again. You'll, you'll cause an oscillation to start. We're going to take a look at the signals at the pull-up resistor feeding the piezo, and we're going to look at the signals coming off of the feedback terminal, which uh, bias and modulate the base of the PNP transistor. I've set up the oscilloscope so we can take a look at these two signals. If I turn the power up on the oscillator, we can start to hear the piezo crystal vibrate and um, make a tone. This is the feedback coming from the piezo crystal on the small tab, and this is at the pull-up resistor. You can see there's a 180 degree phase shift, so as the voltage rises above the zero line, the ground line on the feedback, it turns the transistor on, which grounds the pull-up resistor, which in turn allows the crystal to settle again, so you end up with this oscillation that's happening. Well, thanks for watching.